the beauty of this city is absolutely mesmerizing. Seeing the famous city on water is a one of a kind experience. This is what an American historian Thomas F. Madden wrote in his book. No one forgets a first glimpse of Venice, whether arriving by plane, boat, train or car, there is that startling moment when one looks across the waves and finds what should not be there. Stone towers, rich churches and packed buildings rising up out of the sea. I believe these words just sum up the feeling you get from the city so beautifully, because indeed there is nothing like this anywhere in this world. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Getting lost in the meandering streets and alleys is an almost sure thing. You think that it is enough to keep going in the direction you need. Well, not that easy. Because if something is impossible here, it is to go straight. You wouldn't know how, but suddenly you took three turns, you believe you still know where you are, and then you reappear on a street where you've already been. There are no cars here, technically no ground transport at all. Either you walk, which is very common here, we've walked around 10 kilometers every day so far, or you take a water bus, which is the best means of transport to get around, if you need to travel longer distances. You wait for the boat to come, in these box-like floating stops. I'm always amazed how a single rope, tied in a certain way, can hold an entire boat in place. I mean, isn't that incredible? It's gonna be okay. Yes, pigeons are a big problem here. They are actually pretty daring. If you are having a breakfast in a cafe here and you will remain the only person sitting at a table, it is not uncommon that a pigeon would just land on your table. You have to be alert. And still some people actually feed them even when there is a fine starting at 50 euros for feeding them. Whenever I am off to find a sunset, a flavor there are so many things you don't know where to look first. Literally. Even observing the common houses here is an experience. The streets are not the only thing here that is not straight. Many of the houses here, I dare say, 
majority, is crooked in a way. Some of them leaning over the streets, other away from them. The views are breathtaking. Whether you are looking from one of the bridges crossing the Grand Canal or you wander in the narrow alleys, there is plenty to see. There is still a lot of tourists here since this is the high season. But thanks to the pandemic, the numbers are not as high as they normally are, which for a visitor might be seen positively. For the people relying on their income from tourism, not so much. Look at this. This was absolutely crazy. This is the waiting line for a boat to Burano Island. We wanted to go there as well, but rescheduled our trip. Because this was... Well, you can see it for yourselves. Insane. And even when the boat was big, bigger than the usual water buses, it still didn't take even a half of the people waiting. I I, as a stationary lover, absolutely have to mention this. There are so many shops selling various types of quills, glass pens. I would never believe something like that exists. Seals. And so, so, so many notebooks. I am in heaven. I wish they wouldn't be so expensive. They are handmade and the production is done according to a centuries old tradition of paper making. There are two main kinds of notebooks. Firstly, leather bound. Those are usually stamped with some kind of a decoration. And secondly, marbled paper notebooks. This technique probably originated from China, but spread from there to other countries. For example, in Turkey, they call it Ebru. And then it finally got to Italy. The amazing thing about these handmade notebooks is that not two of them are the same. Each one is an original. In our first days here, we've discovered an amazing place. They have such delicious croissants and their coffee is so great. I highly recommend this place. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this first glimpse into my life in Venice. It would mean a world to me if you could leave a comment down below, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you soon. Bye.